Which one should I choose to code my ESP32, ChatGPT, or DeepSeek? Which one will code the best? Don't skip the video. A lot of time and effort went into comparing them and making this for you. Here, I asked both DeepSeek and ChatGPT how to measure the voltage of a battery using ESP32 with minimal resources. Let's see what answers we get. And wait, I'm also going to implement it on real hardware, so don't go anywhere. DeepSeek has started analyzing. It looks great to read, but the real question is, can it actually write the correct code? Wow, DeepSeek actually knows about the ESP32. And the way it wrote, shh, wait, the ESP32's ADC pins can handle up to 3.3 volts, right? That's impressive. Let's see what happens next. Stay with me because today we're getting this mystery solved. It's not just thinking about how to implement the voltage divider formula, but it also analyzed some great data on LiPo batteries. We all know that a voltage divider works by using two resistors to easily divide the voltage. But the real question is, how well will it implement this? Let's find out. Another interesting thought from DeepSeek, the ESP32's ADC has a reference voltage of 3.3 volts. But wait, I've heard it's not very stable. All right, let's see what else DeepSeek is analyzing. Oh wow, it has actually considered multiple factors, and the R1-R2 formula looks spot on. This was impressive, especially because I specifically mentioned using minimal resources. Let's keep going. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty, I'm toxic and psychotic. All right, let's take a look at what DeepSeek has analyzed. It did mention the voltage divider, but it didn't explain how to build the actual circuit. Instead, it used two different resistor values and tried to prove that this setup would work best. Now, here comes the real deal, the code. It's using ADC pin 34 for measurement, keeping the resistor values separate so we can change them whenever needed. Plus, by applying the voltage divider rule, it prints the battery voltage directly on the serial monitor. Now, it's time for ChatGPT to take the test. Here I'm using ChatGPT4, and I'll ask it the same question. Hmm, the speed is impressive. This simple model is actually giving solid answers. It not only explains which method to use and what components are needed, but also tells us how to build the circuit hardware. That definitely deserves an extra point, boss. Now, let's check out the code. And wow, this code looks way easier to understand compared to DeepSeek's R1 approach.
explanation much clearer than DeepSeek's. Let's dive deeper. Let's switch models for a more detailed analysis. ChatGPT's O1 model seems to be thinking similarly to DeepSeek's R1, but let's see what results it delivers. I'll slowly scroll through all the analysis, so watch carefully. And hey, the story isn't over yet, my friend. Stick around and watch the full video before you go. I know, I know, this part might seem boring, but trust me, the results make it totally worth it. ChatGPT's O1 model did an amazing job with its analysis. Now it's DeepSeek's turn. Wait. What? Server error? <sighs> this always happens when you're working with DeepSeek. All right. Now let's upload the code to the hardware and check if it actually works. Of course, I'm not crazy enough to blindly trust an AI-generated circuit on my ESP32 without testing it first. So, before wiring anything, I'll run the code on a simulator or emulator. Building the circuit is no big deal, so let's start by testing ChatGPT's code first.
whoa, there's a ton of output. Let me tweak the voltage and see how it responds. test with DeepSeek's code. And wait, what? the results are completely different. At this point, you're probably wondering, why hasn't this guy tested it on real hardware yet? Well, my friend, I left that part for you. If you've followed along this far, go ahead and implement it yourself. And if you get stuck, don't worry, I've got your back. Want more awesome videos like this? Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share your love and support. It's what keeps me going.